For most people, stinging insects aren't the best neighbors, but for others, like Charlene Potter, they make the perfect backyard companions. Charlene's been beekeeping for over half a decade, and she still gets excited every time she opens her hives. You can see the various stages of development, like from the little egg, to the larva, to the pupa, to the actual capped brood. This is the queen right here with the white dot on her abdomen. She is the one who lays all the eggs in the hive, and without a queen, there is no hive. I've been stung, I don't know how many times, so many times I, I lost count. I used to keep track, but you get stung too many times. Okay, pollen pants. Look at right there, that with the orange on her legs. Can you see that? Great pollen. It's said that every third bite of food we take is thanks to the bees uh, pollinating our crops. If we didn't have these honeybees, we would not have, you know, our almond orchards, our avocado orchards, our citrus orchards, etc. And even though she's been doing this for years, the bees still surprise her. Oh, wait a minute. That little bugger! She's supposed to be next door! Holy schmoly! Beekeeping is not for the weak of heart because there are constant uh, struggles to keeping your bees alive. I have had problems with uh, wax moths, small hive beetles, varroa mites, like every beekeeper, and laying workers. And uh, the big one that really devastated five of my hives most recently was pesticide poisoning. Despite the sour moments, Charlene focuses on the sweeter side of beekeeping. Bees. My bees made this honey. the best honey in the world. No honey is better than the honey you get from your own backyard bees, basically. <laughs> Charlene tends to her 100,000 bees daily, with no plans to stop. For Annenberg Media, I'm Jeremy Lindenfeld. So, did you get, did you get stuck? Yep. Where did you get stuck? My thumb. Oh! <laughs> Shit. <laughs>